Hello and welcome everybody to 1996. In 1995, TaylorMade came out with the luxurious bubble shaft. And this revolutionized the way you don't make a shaft requiring a proprietary grip. It just wasn't something that's going to linger for very long. They didn't, it's not named after the head, the titanium bubble. It's named after the shaft. The shaft first came out in 1995 where they introduced the, it was the burner, the steel, the steel metal wood burner where they put the shaft in it. And so of course with the new titanium, they're going to put their new shaft in it. What's more interesting to me is this is where TaylorMade started breaking into the titanium market. And is it any good? We should go have a closer look. So it's labeled right here, the next big thing, titanium. I just realized that's a pun, or it has a double meaning, I should say, because titanium heads are going to be larger, bigger. So TaylorMade right here, line, titanium, the red logo right here, loft toward the heel side of the sole. And if you look at it, I love this scarecrow-shaped figure right here. All it's missing is a golf ball right here, or a ball marker. Yeah, hmm. way to go, TaylorMade. Spinning around here on the hosel, you can see the serial number. As we spin away from the hosel on the skirt, you can see very clean, just like the face, some paint. I like seeing worn paint. I might be crazy. Some people really don't like that, but I like it because it means this has been played. You can see it's been used. I like that. Down here by the sole, there's this portion missing paint. I get it, you know, you're gonna hit this off the fairway. You don't wanna wear out your paint because that would, why would you, yeah. So let's move up the shaft here. Black ferrule, we have right here, tailor-made, stiff 90 plus, bubble shaft, bubble shaft, bubble shaft, bubble shaft, bubble shaft, bubble shaft, US patent. You can see it tapers down. This is where it bubbles up right here, then it tapers down. And again, you still need a special grip if you're gonna regrip these, so. Don't just slice these off willy-nilly. Do some homework before you do. With that said, let's get this out on the range and see how it does. This club felt fine on the range. With that small tee, it performed exactly how I expected it to perform. It was fine. Now, am I going to put this in my bag? Well, let's look at it. It's really loud and interesting. I like that. The shaft is crazy. I like that. The grip is not replaceable. Okay, you know, two out of three, that's fine. But if this is something that's exciting and passionate and just crazy enough, I want to put this in my bag. I want to. I'll build, when I build a 90 set, how many 90 sets am I going to build? It's like asking a shoe collector, how many shoes are you going to buy? As many as will fit in our house, right? So I want to put this in a set. The problem for me personally, yes, this is interesting and that is the first, but my personal memories go back to my buddy who had, not him technically, it was his father or family, whoever. His father had a Titanium Bubble 2. A little bit bigger and better. Just a little bit bigger and newer. That's the one that I have memories with. So this is competing with that. What do I want? Do I want the first one or the one that I have memories with? And does it really matter? So you see how they're competing and I'm torn and why not just build two tailor-made sets? Maybe I will. So, for me, this might come second to the Titanium Bubble 2 just for nostalgia reasons. But as far as, like, if I were talking to friends and they were looking for 90s clubs, I would say, yeah, this is a great one because it's loud and it has character and it's recognizable and it's cool. So, yes, I like this club. 
If you love it or hate it or don't care, let me know in the comments below. Always enjoy reading your comments. TaylorMade is, are on their way to greatness with this design. So I get you could argue that they were already great with their, their Pittsburgh pursuits. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe. Visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.